Ruthie just got back. Welcome back to Big Belly Rebuilds. Anywho, Ruthie just got back. She wanted to know what was going on. I said, well, I just put the last piece on when you drove up. And I did. So yesterday morning I come out here, discovered a leak. I had to take my whole dash apart. Refer to yesterday's video. And I uh, had to take uh, 100 million ZN, and ZN, and wires apart. And airlines and all that stuff. And uh, just got it all back together. Everything's functioning. Everything's working. All the lights are on. Uh, now it's cleanup time. So, yeah. So that's where I am at. And there's a Ruthie B. <laughs> so there's Ruthie B. And my truck is a total disaster area just because of that leak. So it's all about cleanup time now. And get everything back to order because, uh, because, uh, here you go. Because. Uh, I'll be leaving out after Christmas. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to get. More likely it's going to be air conditioners going to Denver or something like that. Uh, but so uh, truck's got to be ready. And I was going to do that front seal. I've ordered gaskets three times. Uh, two times were canceled. The third time I canceled because it was a wrong set. So I never did get them. And I was, and that's a big job. You got to take the hood off, take the radiator out, take the whole front of the motor apart, and just put that gasket kit in. So it wasn't something that I was going to do in 10 minutes. And so, and you know, this time of year with the weather, uh, I needed a little bit of time. And anyway, time's up because I've been home for uh, since November the second for a while. So, um, so what is that? Eight weeks. About eight weeks. So I've been home eight weeks, so it's about time for me to uh, do something about that bank account that's been going out and nothing going in. You know what I mean? So, and I know it's going to be hard with the way freight rates are. Uh, brokers are all about brokers. They're not about helping up the truck driver. So. And you said they call them brokers for a reason. That's right, because when you use them, you go broker. <laughs> and, uh, they knew what they were doing when they named them. So you had all these white, so, um... Ooh, it broke a piece off my grill there. Huh. Too bad you didn't film yourself with all the wires around you. Well, so. I showed yesterday on yesterday's video, refer back to yesterday's video, and, uh... But you had this whole dash torn apart. Well, this whole center part had to come apart, so each and every device you see had to be taken apart. Every wire, every light, everything, so, because I pulled this off pulled this top off and then I had took off uh, the airlines that go across there's a, a rail over here where they go over here and then they go back out so there's airlines going out like that that way and then this thing here has about six lines on it and so uh, yeah there was a well put it this way I've been working on it since yesterday morning and I came out here at nine o'clock and it is what time now it's about one o'clock one o'clock, so a day and a half of me sitting in this truck doing nothing but working on that dash. Uh, did it solve all my air leaks? No, I still have an air leak somewhere, but I believe that's in my uh, my airbags that holds up the, the uh, cab. So, and how do I know that? Because I put some blocks under the cab and it doesn't go down as fast. I uh -huh. admit, so. And usually you check it with soap and water, but I checked it with soap and water and I didn't see anything. So, so uh, there was something going on back there with those airbags. I've checked this thing from bumper to bumper for air leaks and I can't find anything. And that's the only thing I came up with. And when I discovered this air leak, I immediately jumped on it to fix it. Because the last thing I'll need when I'm pulling out is issues. Uh, when I pull out of here, I don't need no troubles. So... Uh, I got one more dash cam to put in, so I got one, two, three dash cams, and I have my security system, which just has four cameras, two on each side of the back and two going forward, and so I will be totally covered as far as uh, anybody trying to wreck into me. Uh, you will be recorded, and uh, we hope. 
Yeah, because uh, last year about this time, January twelfth, a was guy the ran in the side of my truck here, and I couldn't decipher if it was my fault or his fault. All I know is I was turning on my blinker, and then all hell broke loose, and, and then I seen this car spin out and go in front of me, and I was pushing it sideways down the road, and um, so immediately I thought it was my fault because I turned on the blinker. But after the accident was over with, I thought to myself, well, you know what? I never get over in another lane until I look. So it doesn't matter if I turn on my blinker or not. And then that guy was passed out. So he said he didn't remember anything because he passed out. So I'm thinking that he passed out and then hit me. And he didn't pass out when I hit him. He passed out, then hit me. And so... But there's nothing I could do about it because my dash cam failed to record it. <laughs> yeah. And I had two dash cams. And one of them wasn't working and the other one failed to work. So now I got one, two, three, and I have a complete security system. So, um, man, you got to protect yourself because uh, you fellow drivers that are out there, especially those ones that have been out there for years like I have, over 30 years. Uh, you know how people are. They're worse today than they ever have been. They'll, they'll get in front of you and cut you off, slam on your brakes. And, uh, even semi-truck drivers, they think they're driving sports cars, will, will cut you off. And uh, so, you know, you, I just it's got to be, you got to have your, you got to protect yourself. Can you believe it was January the 12th that that happened? Today's December the 21st. Oh, today is the solstice solstice i knew that as soon as i woke up this morning i was like today's well the sunlight is awful up for uh, the sunlight is up awful early for it being the shortest day of the year yeah so. this is the solstice it's december 21st that's the first thing i thought when i opened my eyes i said well the sun is up awful early for it being the shortest day of the year yep so anyway fa uh, father uh, you too father <laughs> thank you father i was going to thank you guys but thank you uh father for uh uh, showing me how to get this done and uh thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching big belly rebuilds please comment they say if you say comment that you will comment so that you must say comment so if i say comment will you comment give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down oh and look on behind us oh here oh my goodness oh <laughs> the he was crawling up the door he, there he did he climbed he, up. he climbed up the door <laughs> And uh, it was right behind Ruthie's head. That's them cats, boy. They, they, uh, they think everything that belongs to us belongs to them. And Leaves on the door. The, this is their house. This is their truck. They said, "Well, I'm coming. You're in my truck. I'm checking it out." So that was kind of a trip. But he anyway, was on the door. He was on the door. Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave your comments down below. Give us a like or a dislike. It all helps us grow. And uh, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun wherever you are. God bless. And later. Later. <laughs>